Hello everyone, I am Dr. Jyoti Mandala. Welcome you all to the video lecture series on the course Unity 3D. Up to our last lecture, we had a detailed understanding about the differences between AR and VR. And also uh, we learned about what is 2D space and 3D space. I hope you all are clear with those concepts. In this lecture, you will be introduced to an integrated development environment and that is Unity 3D. Now, throughout this course, we are going to use this software. Before proceeding, let us have a brief his history about Unity 3D. Unity 3D is a game engine which is developed and designed by Unity Technologies. It is created in 2004 and first launched in 2005. Now, it is used to create game content and some interactive experiences. So, to, to have an interactive experiences through AR development and VR development, we can make use this Unity 3D. Other game engines are also existing like Unreal and A-Frame. But why we have chosen this Unity 3D? Because of its user-friendly environment. So, the editor what we are going to use is very simple and you can create your own the AR applications. Now, Unity 3D has a vibrant online community. If you are struck with any solution, like if you are struck to get any solution online, you have a community where you can post your question and you can get answers quickly. Also, 3D website also is there where we have a discussions forum also there. Most of the questions are already answered there. You can check that one also if you are facing any issue. Next, it is multi-platform. Because of this feature, most of the people are opting this game engine. You have multiple external assets. We are going to learn about that in our, in our future classes where you are going to download some 3D models, existing models, and you can make use of them in your project very easily. So let's proceed. Uh, before proceeding, you need to make your system ready by, by setting of this unity in your computer and to do that task you need to follow a four step process the first step is you need to create an account each individual student or individual uh, instructor or a person need to have a, an account so to create an account you need to re refer this website second step is once the account has been created you need to download the unity software so the software is available in this website now, once the software is developed, downloaded, uh, uh, you need to install that software. After installing that software, you need to install the Unity Editor. After installing the Unity Editor, you need to activate your license. So, let's, let us understand how all these four steps are done. I will show you. So, to do that one, first go to the any browser. As a first step, you need to go to the website. Here I, I have highlighted that unity.com. So go to this website and first you need to create your account. So you can select, we have two options here. First one is post-secondary and the second one is secondary option. So you can go with free access post-secondary option. So once you select this one, you will be redirected to the another page. So in this page, you need to make sure like you need to create one account. Already uh, uh, here an account has been created but you have if you have not created any account on the top you can see there is an option called create one if you go into that link so it will ask you to create one account and to this account mail id whatever you have given you will get one um, activation link so once you click on the activation link your account will be activated right this is the first step you need to do now once the first step is done I'm repeating once again, you need to go with the post secondary. Now, once your account has been created, you need to go with the second step, which is installation. So to install the software Unity, you need to go to this website, which is unity.com downloads. So click on the downloads. Once you click on the download, an um, exe file will be downloaded. You can see here the exe file is downloaded. So it depends on your internet speed, how much time it takes to download that one. So as I have already downloaded that one, I am pause. I'll pause this uh, downloading. So make sure like once it is downloaded, you can uh, run this one and just click next, next. Your system will have this software installed. 
So after downloading, just run this software and your system will have this software of Unity. Now once the installation is done, you can check on your desktop Unity Hub icon will be added. This is a shortcut. Now you need to double click on this one and once you double click on this one, you will be moved to this, this one, environment. This is the place where your account, you have, make sure like you have signed in and go to the projects. If you have any projects done, that will be shown here because it's a fresh software installed, no projects are there. Now, once the software is installed, you need to go to installs and install editor. There you need to install the editor to proceed further. So make sure like you install that editor and click on that Microsoft Visual Studio and Android build support is required because we are going to do you make use of those two things in our uh, videos. Now click on the agreements and then click install. Now this process of installation will take time. It depends upon your internet speed, right? So depending upon that, that software will be installed. So this will take time in installation. So take your time. This installation here, we are going to install an editor. Now once the install is editor, you need to install like like also you need to do the fourth step the fourth step is you need to activate your license already here the license has been activated but how to do that one i'll make you i'll tell you just click on the add and get free personal license you need to click on that one so this is the process where you need to follow which you need to follow but to activate your license so understand four steps need to be done your student account need to be created student or teacher second one is you need to download the unity 3d software and then you need to install the editor and then you need to activate the license four steps need to be done so if you can see below that the process is also going on so it takes on the um, you know, like depends upon the internet speed how much time it requires uh, it depends upon your internet speed so let it install once the installation is done in the next video i'll tell you how to create the project i hope you all have downloaded the unity software you have created your own account and you have set your system with the unity to pursue further further lectures make sure like your system is ready before proceeding with the further lectures if you still face any issues, let me know in the chat box. I am very happy to help you all. Thank you for joining. Let us all meet in the next lecture. Until then, thank you.